This is Pasties Herb. We are a team on an assignment to build the fate of men and set their hearts on fire through the media system. With hundreds of insightful videos here on our channel, we hope to bless and bond with you. Don't forget to click the like button, turn on notifications, and subscribe. We love and celebrate you. Whoever you want. If you to want to be famous, lift, if God wants to Lord, lift you, you can and lift announce you through to the world me. from Nigeria, your feet Where must touch Lagos. There are two cities your feet must touch, Abelkuta and Lagos. If your feet does not touch it prophetically, your voice will not be heard from this nation because there is a covenant. In the realm of the spirit, Abelkuta gave birth to Lagos. Isaiah 46. Verse 9 to 11. Remember the former things of old. For I am God. And there is no other. I am God. And there is none like me. Declaring the end from the beginning. And from ancient times. Things that are not yet done. Saying my purpose. The Hebrew word for counsel is the same Hebrew word for purpose. And the same word for assignment. My assignment for somebody here. My purpose for someone here. My counsel for someone here. Will stand. And I will do all my pleasure. Calling a bird of prey from the east. And the man who executes my purpose. My assignment for, for them. From a far country. Indeed I have spoken it. I will also bring it to pass. I have proposed it. I will also do it. I already told you what my title is. I told you yesterday night if you were here. Jehovah on time. Jehovah on time. Somebody say on time God. On time, God. Say it again on time God. On time, God. It's going to be a brief teaching and a prophetic prayer for you. And then I know that... Uh, that evangelism must hold if you are going out this morning. Listen, Jehovah on time. There was no concept of time before Genesis. No concept of time. You need to understand that God had always been without a beginning. Even though the Bible says in the book of Genesis 1-1, in the beginning God created. Really the word beginning there has to do with you and I and the universe. But the one who created the universe has no beginning. Time was after beginning. That is why you can't quite measure God by time. Because if you want to measure God by time, which time will you use? Like I said yesterday, the time on planet Earth is 365 days based on the rotation of the earth around the axis of the sun. We don't go around the sun, we can't. If you want to go around the sun, it will take almost a million years. So you go around the axis of the sun for 365 days and a few hours. So at the end of four years, they gathered a few hours, it makes 366 days. That is why you have a leap year at the end of four years. But then the moon has a different time. It takes 255 days, 65 days, no, 355 days to make a year on the moon because its own gravitational pull is slower than the earth. That is why the astronauts there are always bouncing. Then if you go to Mars, it takes 685 days to complete a year. So which time will God use? That is why he's bigger than time. Oh, I'm going somewhere this morning. And somebody's going to be mighty blessed. I said you will be blessed. So God was before creation. He never needed time because he's bigger than time. He gave time to man in order to regulate where you live. God cannot be bound by it. He does not need to check time before he does what he wants to do for you. He lives in eternity. But God created time for you. So that you had a beginning and then you go through a process and an aging. But with God, he is all the same all the time. 
He oversees time, yet he is never late. I like you to say never late. Yes. Say it one more time, never late. Yes. Your experiences sometimes does not agree with what you've said. Sometimes you wonder, never late, what are you talking about? But we're going somewhere this morning because what we're saying is that he is Jehovah on time. He sets the purpose of a thing from the beginning. He can also bring you forward in no time. God is like Hollywood. Hollywood, in order to make a good film, they will make the end of the film. They will first fix the end of the film. After they fix the end of the film, and then they wrote the end. Like we say in Yoruba land, the end look in cinema. When film ends, the thing you see last is what? End. So God fixes end. Then he now comes back to beginning and begins your beginning. But one thing is clear. No matter what happens in the middle, your end has already been fixed. And God does not fix a bad end. He fixes an awesome end, a testimony end, a glorious end. So there may be battles in the middle, but all things will work together for good. To them that love the Lord, to them that are called according to his purpose. So no matter what you go through, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. And I know that in the end I will dwell in the house of the Lord Oh, there is a good end. There's a beautiful end. There's a testimony end. Shout, I receive it. So in the eyes of man, sometimes you and I, we feel that maybe God is late. Take the case of Jesus and Lazarus. Jesus was invited to the grave of this, to the, to the house of this man. They sent a message to him, SOS. I don't know if it was text blue or, or WhatsApp. They said, Jesus your friend Lazarus is sick and Jesus said I'm coming then after he said I'm coming he went on teaching and talking to people and 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 where Jesus was to where Lazarus was was not too many many hours but he just kept on the Bible says by the time he got there Lazarus was dead John 11 21 now Martha said to Jesus Lord if you had been here my brother would not have died. In other words, you came late. But she didn't know that, hey, it's never late. It's just that his own time is better. Okay, Chineka, you come, man. His time is better than any other time. In John eleven thirty-two, 32, then when Mary came where Jesus was and saw him, she fell down at his feet saying to him, Lord, if you had been here, my lord my brother will not have died again she thinks he was late when we make wrong turns what god does is bring out his gps his gps is not shut down he brings us back to purpose so when jesus said no i'm not late i came on time he said move the stone and he called the dead man out in the sight of man he was late but god had a plan to bring glory to his name out of the death of lazarus to show his power of resurrection i pray for somebody this morning in the very area where it looks like god was late god will give you the most awesome testimony it's not the day to give the full testimony concerning my language pastor Pastor referred to somewhere in Lagos, very big, not the small one, no. Biggie, 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 biggie. <laughs> but you see, Pastor, if the thieves who tried to use trick to steal my land had not come, I would have sold the land nine years ago. And when I was praying, can I be honest with you? Yes, Even though I would preach like a lion, I would sometimes shed tears and say, God, why is this battle going on? It's this long. Pastor, my SANC was 100 million naira. 
SAN alone. My legal fee on the matter was 150 million. It's still not being so. But when the victory came, I now saw that lucky of nine years ago. It's not lucky of 2022. If I had sold it nine years ago, it wouldn't have been the same thing as. So when it looks like ah, ah, this thing is taking too long, God, I can't give you the full testimony. But just that alone should make you see where I'm going. So I'm going to say, never too late. There is a purpose to your life. There is a destiny to you. Late in the midnight hour, God's going to turn it around. He's going to turn it in your favor. you turn it around. And around. And around. And around. And around. And around. And around. Shout him in with fire. And when God is ready to turn some things around, crazy things will be happening. It's not the day of testament. One day I'll come give you the full gist. One of our biggest turnaround was a witness who is a hundred years old. In law, there are five fingers to win land matter in Nigeria. You want me to tell you? No, come for consultants. One of it is strong historical capacity with a witness that old. They already got him to the other side, made him sign like a lie witness statement on the bonnet of a car. This man, conscience, can't worry him. He changed his story. When we put him for witness box, he said, I want to tell the truth now. I don't want to meet my brother, sister over there. And he said, you, 100 years. He would have lied. Land where we say, you say we no say. Say I want ah, I know I know go lie, go there. The other side said, but sir, you signed for us. He said, which sign? Ah. Maybe don't put my way when I put on top of bonnet or car. Maybe when I say make a sign, we are supposed to sign before a judge. When I say make a sign, I won't read. When I say make a no read, say when I know you lie to me, you did lie, lie boys. I no want to join on that. On time, God. On time, God. Ah, God will turn it around. He will turn it in your favor. He will turn it in your favor. Shout it out with fire. We can't you get a give God a praise? Oh, bless his name. When we make wrong turns, his GPS is not shut down. He brings us back, back to where we should have been. All oh, things work together for good. To them that love the Lord. To them that are called according to his original intention is what the Greek says. According, there is an original intention. There is no mistake. There is an originality to the date of birth of you and myself and Pastor Biola. There's a reason, there's a purpose for where you were born. You are beautiful for situation. Not only great Mount Zion. You too. You are beautiful for your situation. Your story is not a mistake. It is part of your journey. If I didn't go through the things I went through, I wouldn't be able to preach the way I preach. Glory to God. Purpose overtook time in the life of Abraham. The man was desperate for a child. Despair and desperation may be sign of distrust in Jehovah. He was desperate. God, can't you see I'm going without a child? I'm sure God reminded him, hey, Abraham, slow down. When I meet you, you were 75. You know already they depart your land. <laughs> so make you no worry me. I tell you, I will give you charge, just wait. Abraham was already 75. The day God called him out of the earth of the Chaldeans. He was already 75. He's on time because he is in a class of his own. Time was introduced to uphold the law of seed and time. 
in our of the seed seed time and harvest in our life. That's why God introduced time. So that when you sow a seed, there's a time for it to be sown, for it to grow, for it to bear. Other than time, that purpose is bigger than time. Time was introduced to achieve the purpose which God has for you. Psalm 90 verse 10 to 12, the days of our lives are 70 years. And if by reason of strength they are 80, yet they are, they, their boast is only labor and sorrow. No, no it is so, and now it is soon cut off and we fly away. Who knows the power of your anger? For as the, as the fear of you, so is your wrath. So teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts to wisdom. Purpose is the main thing at the heart of God and time is the medium for achieving purpose. So there was a purpose for Pastor Modili. Then there was a day God created her time. Purpose is where he's taking her. So everything she went through, has gone through, is going through. Purpose is being achieved. And we can see that purpose unfold every day. As she touches life, as she impacts people, as she makes somebody experience the grace of God. Purpose. And listen, God can suspend time to make purpose stand. Joshua chapter 10 verse 12. Purpose was to defeat the people on the way to where they are going. Time was going. So God held up time. Then Joshua spoke to the Lord in the day when the Lord delivered the Amorites before the children of Israel. And he said in the sight of Israel, Son! Stand still upon Gibeon. You don't know what that meant? That is the, that is the earth really itself. It was the earth that stopped its rotation. The earth rotates. You don't know, say, the fastest vehicle on earth. Now you did inside so. This planet rotates at a speed of over 32,000 miles per second. Where you started this morning is not where you are. The thing is speeding. So it stood still. Stood still. The whole of the universe, particularly our own solar system, particularly our own galaxy, must have experienced something. Because purpose overrode the work of the sun, the moon, the stars, the planets because a people have been called of God. The sun stood still over Gibeon and the moon over the valley of Aijalon. So purpose caught up with time. Time had to be held up because purpose was priority. Oh, I pray for you. I pray for you. I speak into your life. I declare today it looks like time is going, but your purpose will start. And your purpose will show. Your purpose will manifest. It will not be overdue. By a single day, shout amen. I said your purpose will start. Your purpose will manifest. You will not miss your purpose. In the name of Jesus, shout amen again. Also, God can also give promotion faster than time. That's why you find some people, they just get accelerated promotion in the Bible. Pa, 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 pa. The guy was 17 when they sold him into Egypt. 13 years, he went through training. He didn't know it was part of the plan. They sold him to the house of Potiphar to learn how to manage, to learn how to manage large economies, business, to learn the protocol of the aristocratic to learn how to run systems, to be a project manager, to be an agric economist, to be a finance economist, to be a good accountant, to be a HR master, a human resource manager. He didn't know he was part of it. After that, they threw him in the jail to manage impossible people. And when the training was completed, 13 years, he was now 30. 30 is the number of launching. He was launched at 30. Jesus started at 30. David fully reigned over the whole of Israel at the age of 30. When he had completed everything. So Joseph suddenly now finds he's coming out of prison with prison number. They change his clothes within 24 hours. And the same day, purpose caught up with time. 
time was kept to held up and they made him the second in charge not of egypt but of an empire because when your purpose comes it overtakes time there are people in this hall before the end of this year what your father could not achieve in a lifetime you will achieve in your purpose 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 you will excel you will excel you will excel you will excel in the name of jesus shout amen so once joseph met the requirement of faithfulness god cut down the time nobody becomes what joseph became at that short time in egypt no you have to rise through the run level one level two level three level four you'll be waiting you do exam again level four you do exam again level five god just bypassed all that <clears throat> put him in purpose to save humanity you are not here as a waste of time you are not here because you're an accident of some woman and a man who one day they had something and you were born there is a purpose jehovah is on time and that purpose will be achieved. Shout amen. One opportunity after several experiences. Fast forward that Joseph. To the palace. To the palace. I'm very sure. The evening they may have organized a party for Joseph. And they brought everybody in. And Mrs. Potiphar had to kneel before him. She's looking at him. Joseph. She couldn't even say it. Because the Bible says, and everybody screams before Joseph, bow the knees. She had to bow before him. Because purpose had caught up with time. Purpose had caught up with time. Why are you so worried? And you have a degree from the University of degree. I've not been able to work with it. Your purpose will catch up with time. And there are some of you here today that the next six months the speed of your movement will be greater than you can imagine. It will be greater than you have seen. It will be greater than you can imagine. God will send men and women to believe in you. Believe in your dreams. Believe in your work. Make it come to pass. In the name of Jesus. Your purpose will come to pass. Your destiny will manifest. In the name of Jesus. And then, hello, child. Kate Barosi. Listen, and look at me, look at me, look at me. One of the intensity of your battles is as a result of the purpose you carry. The intensity of your battle. It's not because time is going, but because of the purpose you carry. See, time wants to frustrate purpose. But today, I pray for you. Ah, your purpose will be fulfilled. You will not die before your time. I said you will not die before your time. You will achieve that purpose. You will carry it out. Shout amen. amen. Say it again, amen. Sit down, sit down. So let me give you five things and I close this message. Number one, there is no surprise with God. Never forget that. There is no surprise with God. God is exceedingly great and mighty. His system is so organized that it can take care of any emergency. There is nothing like due to circumstances beyond our control. There is nothing like we did not see it coming. What is this corona whatever? We did not see it. No, that's not God. George Bush Sr. Read my lips. There'll be no tax. Then the war happened in Iran. In Iraq rather. And then he changed his word. Because he did not see it coming. But with our God. He's not engaging after thoughts. If we had known. We would have done it this way. We would have done it that way. He knows the problem you are trying to describe. Some of us don't know how to pray. We describe problems to pro God. God this thing I'm going through is very special. As you see this problem, so it's special. 
I don't think anybody will go through this thing for Abuja. Because looking at you like, who do you know? Where do you know? Where have you been? You need to reach where challenges do not disturb you anymore. Because you know that purpose will overtake what? Oh, you are getting the message. Because Romans 8, 29 says, For whom he did for no, then he also predestined to be conformed to the image of the Son of God that he might be the firstborn among the brethren. And those whom, and verse 30, among who, moreover, whom he predestined, them he also called. Whom he called, them he also justified. Those who justified, them he also glorified. Some people have a problem with these two verses. They are very easy to explain. 22 boys are playing football. You, produce, you provided 22 balls, box, uh, bottles of Coca-Cola at the end of the game. How many did you provide? 22. How many people are playing? 22. Those whom he also called. Then he predestined. You were destined before. Predestined to achieve a purpose. And those whom he also he had already destined before, then he now called. That's where volition comes in. Do you know that only me can frustrate my purpose? Not even Satan. Not even Satan. So, when he calls, some people are not in their purpose. One, they reject Christ. Two, they follow nonsense. Three, they listen to things that will not help them in fulfilling their calling. So, he called 22 people to have Coca-Cola. He now called them those whom he now called, 17 came. How many were called? 22. How many came? 17. Those whom who now came, he justified. He gave them the Coca-Cola. And those whom he, just if I, just as if I'd, just if I'd, just as if I never did it. That's the meaning of just if I'd. Just as if I never sinned, he forgave my sin. That's why some people cannot handle Christianity. They say, ah. You're seeing all those things where you do. God will just wipe a letter. That's what he said. Those whom he, just as if I never did it, he glorified. So when you see glory on my life, don't be shocked. Oh, I'll still shine. I'll still carry glory. So somebody said, there's no surprise. Say it again, no surprise. With God. You see, because he already predestined you. In other words, he already preloaded you. You have an assignment. There's a place you are going. You are like today's, uh, in today's warfare, bomb no be the thing way, then go shoot the thing, no arrive. No, bomb gets a microchip inside now. He gets address. He they use uh, Google. He they use GPS. They say, bomb, go to 15 Maryland Road, Stratford, London, E15, 9 JL. Bomb go to judge everything because he didn't get predestination. And until he reach that place, bomb no go drop. Now, if man can fix that, that is even too far. Ghana here, Ghana they mess Europe, their head. Real time of Ghana, they deliver medicine now from Accra to 1,000 kilometers using drone. They'll just put the address of the hospital. Package the thing inside the drone. Co compute the drone to go to Kokomlemle or Don Sampama or where is the name of the place we went to recently? Pram Pram, go all kinds of places. <laughs> the thing will carry the drug, oh. it go read the address, oh. it go drop her, turn around, go back to Accra. This one will be America, this one now, uh, Ghana. Charlie, this thing they have pulled oh. So if Ghana can do it, how about Jehovah? I said, how about Jehovah? How about Jehovah? How about Jehovah? No good thing will he withhold from you. So no surprise with God. I said, no surprise with God. I said, no surprise with God. Your testimony will come. Number two, no delay with God. No delay with God. God is not stuck to time, bound by it, delayed. Went to, to a, a burial in a weary. 
came to Asaba to catch my flight back to Lagos. Flight is 4 p.m. God bless the airline. I shall not mention them. We did not leave until 6.25. Story for the God. So they just had story. Story, story. And they just apologized for two minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, before we take off, uh, apologies for being two and a half hours late. Jesus will you by that. But no delay with God. God is big on purpose while men are big on time. You are saying, God is it's getting too late. I'm about 30 years old now. I'm about 40 years old. And God says, I'm big on purpose. I'm not big on time. If there's a delay, it was not God who caused it. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 3. For the vision is one appointed time. It shall speak. It shall not lie. Though it tarries, wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry. The vision is for what? An appointed time. The word there is zaman in Hebrew, which in Hausa we say zamani. Zaman is zaman in, in, in Hebrew and in Arabic also zamani. The appropriate season. But even time is not as big as your purpose. So the Bible says your dream, your purpose, your calling is for a particular time. That's why you are thinking, why is it not working? Oh, when the season comes, when the purpose is to manifest, nobody will be able to stop it. I said, no one will be able to stop it. So we said, number one, with God, there is no what? No surprises. Number two, we said, there's no? Now, number three, there's no regrets. There is no regret in God. Regrets and self-pity have made many to lose identity. Regret and pity conditions people for failure. Don't let problems define you. Don't begin to regret. Get over the past. Fido. Forget it. Drive on to greatness. If God will solve your problems when you had no relationship with him, how much more now that you are born again? When you did not know Christ, God took care of things concerning you. How much more now? Ha! Lamentation 3, 22 and 23 says, the, the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. Through the Lord's mercies, we are not consumed because his compassion fail not. Glory to God. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. So when you did not know God, he made things to work for you. Now that you know him, ah, uh, you will not regret. I said you will not regret. I repeat, you will not regret. I declare you will not regret. Shout amen with fire. And then number four, there is no limit in God. No surprise. No delay. No regret. And no limit. Someone say no limits. Say it again, no limits. Alicia, the Greeks worship gods that have to do with one section. The Romans worship God that have to do with one thing. The Yorubas worship God that have, if anything surprised Yoruba might be worshiper. Smallpox come Africa. They worship the God of smallpox. Because they couldn't conquer it. They bow down to the God of smallpox. Ah, chopper. Now we know they for the Jimmy. Because they couldn't understand the things. Ah, what Jimmy? This is the way they kill, kill like this. Thank God for Jesus. Oh. If not, so this corona for don't become God. Oh. Yoruba for don't create God for, for corona. Anything will shock Yoruba man. They will worship her. Fire like this, they say, I'm. Ah, the, the, the king of Oyo go put petrol for miles. Peter, hey, they begin worshiping. I like that I know. No, be him, be I like that I know. The real I like that I know is seated in heaven. Oh, come and glorify God this day. But where I'm trying to give you is that while they are worshiping all these tiny, tiny things, the God who has no limits, He is immeasurable. His mercy endures forever. His name is to be praised forever. His master of situations forever. He supplies all your needs. Everything God does is what? 
So somebody scream, no limits. No Say it again, no limits. No Say it louder, no limits. No Mark 10, 27, with men, this is impossible. But with God, nothing shall be impossible. In fact, right now on this spot, I declare that thing on which you have put limits on God, begin to receive answers. Begin to receive a turnaround. Begin to receive favor. Begin to receive turnaround. Receive answers. Receive turnaround. Receive favor. In the name of Jesus. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for you to engage the supernatural. To receive untold results. If there is no limit with God, then know this. Anything, anyone, anywhere who stands between you and your testimony, God will shift them. Some people become so big. They say, we are in charge in this Nigeria. Ah! If they thought that because they are in charge, they are holding your blessing, they are holding your testimony, they are holding what belongs to you. God will shift them out of the way. I said, God will shift them. God will shift them. God will shift them. God will shift them. In the name of Jesus. Jehovah on time. With him, there is no surprise. Number two, there is no delay. Number three, there is no regret. Number four, there is no limit. And now number five, there is no want in God. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. There is no want in God. Want is the absence and deficiency of something desirable or something requisite. Want is to be without something you need. There is no want in God. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Psalm 34 verse 9 and 10. Oh fear the Lord you his saints. There is no want to those who fear him. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger. But those who seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. Ha! No want in God. Even in difficult times. The woman came to the man of God, Elisha. He said, hey, okay, pastor, my husband, he don't die. Bailiffs have come. They've carried everything from our house. They've taken everything. Everything. Now they want to take my children. Ah, you know, you can touch a woman's properties, anything but her children. Man, except if she's not a Yoruba woman. She go remove her gilly, tie them around her waist. She go say, we go die here together. I don't know how bailiffs operate in Nigeria, but in England, those guys, I, I don't know if that woman been born them home. She has no, they move there. Once they have instruction to lock a house because you did not pay mortgage. You will sleep outside though. I can't forget a bishop who thieves killed in Nigeria. And I, I was like a foster father for his children. And I was helping his wife and the children until I, you know, some people just, they, they stay in the class preaching. They don't know how to also take care of their family. All his life in England was a rented house. So I guided the woman until she bought property. But then for some reason, they didn't pay mortgage. And they were about to lock the house. I'm in Nigeria. I'm on my way to my hometown where we're building a university. I get a call. The bailiffs are here. My children have closed from school. They won't let them in. They've locked the door. It's already 3 p.m. <laughs> How I pull the stunt and have that get 8,000 pounds to pay them so they open? I don't know. You know, there are some things you do and <laughs> social media never hears. Now, the day where you kick somebody, ah, pastor, he kicked somebody. <laughs> How many, 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 many people you bailed out from bailiffs? The bailiffs showed up. They want to take her sons as born slaves. Born servanthood is when they take your children, they go serve the person you owe until you pay. The Yorubas had it, they call it a warfare. You serve until your father pays. And if the man no pay, you die there. So they are coming for her sons. She ran to the man of God 
And the man of God said, what do you have in your house? Because there is no want with God, but he needs a seed. God cannot work with zero. Because zero multiplied by Googleplex, that is the highest multiplication. Zero multiplied by Googleplex, that is 10 with 100 zeros behind. Zero multiplied by Googleplex is still what? Zero. He said, ah, there is a bottle of oil in my house. There is no want with God. This morning, this morning, and I stand here in the office of a prophet and I speak into your life. The God who showed up for this woman, he will show up for you. 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 Provision will be made for you. Testimony will follow you. Glory will follow you. Turn around will follow you. There will be no one. There will be no want. Your wants will be met. Your needs will be met. Jehovah will be on top. Shout yes. Shout yes. Shout yes. Put your hands together. Give God a praise. Oh, bless this name. Oh, bless this name. Last one, last one, last one. Sit down. And I give you the last one and then I pray. And hand over the mic. I really do want you to go out if you're going out for evangelism this morning. Number six, there is no fear in Jehovah. There is no fear in Jehovah. In the Bible, there are two kinds of fear. There is a bad fear, phobos in the Greek. Phobos is the one from which you get phobia, agoraphobia, uh, aquaphobia, aquaphobia, fear of water, agoraphobia, fear of heights or something like that, or darkness, I don't even know. Uh, it's all kinds of fears. But there's a good fear in Hebrew called Yahre. It's like clearing your throat. Yahre. That is good fear. You know, El. Yahre is the kind where you met your pastor in Jabi Shopee complex and you are like, Jesus, pastor, is this you? And he asked me a question and your mind went blank because you have this good regard for him. That is Yahre. Even, no matter who you are, but because you are respect for the person. You can't forget one time I had to speak to President Obasanjo. Joe. He calls me on my phone. I was in London. I said, who is this? He said, this is uh, <laughs> I'm You won't believe it. Even though I know who I am in Christ, I stood up like I'm in his presence. <laughs> ah, Baba, good morning, sir. <laughs> it remains small. I nearly do That is good fear. People you honor, people you regard. It's the fear of the Lord, a good fear of the Lord. You know, the fear of the Lord is Yahri. But the fear of, ah, hey, it's not going to work out. That is a bad fear. Phobos. There is no fear in Jehovah. First John chapter 4, verse 18. There is no fear in love. But perfect love cast out phobos because phobos involves torment. But he who phobos has not been made perfect in love. Fear is the tool of the enemy used to distract covenant people. Fear is faith turned in the opposite direction. Fear is an enemy not to be tolerated. So I close this message by letting you know Jehovah will always be on time. I've tried him for 50 years. I've known him for 50 years. Yes, Somewhere between February, March 1972, uh, I gave my life to Christ. 50 years. Yes, I can tell you, number one, there's no, what is it? Surprise in God. Number two, there is no delay in our God. Number three, there's no regret with our God. Number four, there's no limit to our God. Number five, and then number six, say it again. 
Oh, say it louder. And so this morning upon this altar, I want you to know, Jehovah will be on time for you. You'll be on time for your family. You'll be on time to answer you. You'll be on time to give you testimony. On time to give you breakthrough. On time to give you a testimony. I prophesy on Koza this morning, this year 2022, victory will be your portion. I said victory will be your portion. God will defend you against every attack. Jeremiah 20, 11. God will defend you against every attacker. God will defend you against every attacker. Psalm 18 verse 17. God will defend you against every attacker. Psalm 37 verse 17. God will defend you against every attacker. I said Isaiah 31 verse 5. God will defend you against every attack. He will defend you. 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 Jeremiah 51 verse 7. Ah! Everyone who have raised their hand against you as a righteous child of God, God will fight them. God will charge them. God will fight them. God will charge them. God will fight them. Jeremiah 30 verse 23. God will judge them. He will fight them. Psalm 34 verse 15 to 19. He will deliver you from every trouble. In 2022, God will deliver you from every trouble. From every challenge. From every battle. God will deliver you. In the name of Jesus. Psalm 91 verse 10 to 12. Angelic security will be around you. Warrior angels will surround you. I said, warrior angels will surround you. Psalm 34 verse 7. Angels will be on guard in your life. Daniel chapter 6 verse 22. Angels will draw their sword. They will fight your battle. They will silence your enemies. In the name of Jesus. Shout it massive amen. 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 1 to 5. Everyone who is an attacker attacking your life, the Lord will silence them. Hey, those who have allowed themselves to be used on the enemy to attack your destiny, attack your life, we return their arrows back to them. We return their arrows back to them. Every terrible dark manifestation in our planet this year shall not touch your house. Young, vibrant men and women dying because of coronavirus, he shall not enter this church. He shall not reach your house. We stop the enemy. Horrible covens where they are mentioning people and attacking them. Your name will be bigger than them. If they touch your name, God will fight them. Midnight attacks will stop it. Daytime attack will stop it. Dream attacks will stop it. The Bible talks of wolves of the night. Every wolf of the night howling in your dream, coming as demonic forces. Heaven rises to fight them. God gives you victory. Ah, uniform problem that is in your gen in your family. For problem that is uniform, everybody's been wearing it. Grandpa wore it, daddy wore it, mama wore it. Ah, we remove it from your own life. We remove it from your own life. Strange battles in the house you came from, we remove you from it. We remove it from you. We remove you from it. And we remove it from you. In the name of Jesus. I have to Kapako Zikili. I lay hands on businesses in this church. Your business will not crash. Uh, they say there's going to be inflation and battles in economies around the world because of supply chain problem. China unable to produce because of coronavirus. But you are connected to the greatest economy. The economy of heaven. You will not want. You will not lack. 
You will not want. You will not lack. You will not want. You will not lack. Some people labor, labor, labor without result. Your purpose will speak. Your purpose will speak. Your destiny will rise. In the name of Jesus. Likota Marikus Wandi Hidalis. Nigeria is an interesting place. You see men and women in terrible sweats and struggles, yet they have nothing. And somebody seated at home and they enjoy everything. The struggle is over in your life. The struggle is over. The struggle is over. The struggle is over. The struggle is over. From today, you will not labor without results. You will not labor without results. They could be the Indrabota, Iredosha. Some battles cleverly conceal themselves and they continue in your life. And from today, cleverly concealed or openly, we silence every battle. 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 Everyone in this house, Koza, that thing that pulls people backward shall not be your portion. That thing that pulls people backward shall not be your portion. It shall not be your portion. It shall not be your portion. It shall not be your portion. Be your portion. Some people rose to grace, they fell to grass. That will not be your story. You are going from glory to glory. From glory to glory. From glory to glory. From glory to glory. From power to power. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From whence comes my help. My help comes from the Lord. Who made the heavens and the earth. Help will rise for you. Help us will rise for you. Help will rise for you. Help us will rise for you. I lay hand on you this morning. Ah, God Jehovah is on time. The project you started, she will complete. The vision you initiated, she will finish. You will finish. You will finish. This is a house of young men and young women. And God said he will give creative ideas. The Jeronami 35 from verse 30 to 35. Ah, Koza, men and women creating new apps, new ideas, new startups, new dreams, new concepts, robotic engineering, artificial engineering, artificial advanced engineering. In this house, young men will rise. Young women will rise. Young men will rise. Young women will rise. The work of Calvary that has been finished shall manifest in your life. Because of the complete work that Jesus did at Calvary. Ah! Your dream will be fulfilled. <laughs> Romans chapter 9 verse 15, 16. Ah, the Lord says, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. And I will show compassion to whom I will show compassion. Nobody can stop whom God has blessed. You are in this house by the mantle of Jesus on my life. And because of Jehovah on time. God will show you mercy. He'll show you compassion. He'll show you mercy. Show you compassion. Mercy is not just God saying, okay, I pity you. I have forgiveness. Mercy is also God blessing you. Because God decided to sit on mercy seat. And every time we appeal to the mercy of God, we are appealing to the one who sits upon the throne of mercy. Ah, everything that makes life beautiful and colorful shall become your testimony it shall become your testimony it shall become your testimony glory follows you favor follows you testimony follows you i said glory follows you favor follows you testimony follows you glory follows you favor follows you testimony follows you Ayena Tambo Unteli Ratusika Ranusika Ratusa Eta Andrusa Andi Ralushka Yenabosi Jeremiah 20 verse 11 Every hand, every voice, anyone who deliberately raise their hand, their program, their project, 
against this house, against this house, heaven will fight them. Heaven will fight them. Heaven will find 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 them. Victory follows you. God will be your defense. God will be your shield. God will be your strength. God will be your joy. He will be your blessing. He will stand by you. Under Nikutuni Atelia, every dark assignment against your destiny from this morning they fail. I said they fail. Milestones of testimonies that reveal your purpose to begin to manifest. To begin to manifest. They begin to manifest. Milestones of testimonies. Milestones of testimonies. They begin to manifest. They manifest. They manifest. They manifest. They manifest. They manifest. In the name of Jesus. Come on, stand on your feet. Give God the biggest praise this morning. Give him the glory.